Hello Libra and happy birthday. I hope you have an amazing birthday. This is your general guidance for October 2020 with me, Julie Poole. Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate your time and support on my channel. This is good for your sun, moon, rising and your Venus. I suggest you watch your sun and your rising. They're the main two. All right, my darlings, let's bring the camera down and see what we have got for you. This is a general read, guys. So please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And um, if you want to book a private reading with me that is personal to you, the link is below in the description box, along with the links to your 2021 uh, general and love guidance if you're interested in that all right well that's your first card out we have got the queen of coins the five of swords the eight of wands and the palace of swords all right libra we've got a lot of swords here going on let's bring it up to both so we can talk about them i want to start with the swords okay so your energy, air energy, in your head, in your thoughts, and you're wanting to make some changes. That five of swords is that internal, have a word with yourself, little battle going on, all right? So what battle is going on, my loves? What are you arguing with yourself about? The five of swords represents our doubts, our fears, the ifs, buts, and maybes, the oh, I don't know, you know, talking myself out of it here. Why am I talking myself out of it? I don't need to talk myself out of it, right? There's a difference between allowing the natural pros and cons of a situation to be discussed, debated, thought through. That's fine. That's general risk assessing, looking at the consequences, logic, all of that good stuff. But when we get too caught up with being risk averse, oh, that'll never work. Oh, you know, that... I don't know about that. Is it worth it? Then we talk ourselves out of it. Now, that's going to apply for some of you, not all of you. We've got the Palace of Swords here. And the Palace is a beautiful place where I can think clearly. And that's how I'm going to get out of that space in my head with all the ifs, buts and maybes. So where can you be and go to allow yourself to get into that thinking clear space where you have that clarity. Now that might be on top of a mountain where the air is clear, it might be on top of a high building, it might be in your favourite place in your home, but somewhere where you can think clearly. They're giving me an energy here for you of strategy and planning. Um, <clears throat> okay. So as soon as I go into that, I feel a little bit clogged up in my throat. You've got ideas that you haven't yet talked about. And that's OK. You know, sometimes we need them to percolate in ourselves before we discuss them with our nearest and dearest or our boss or our friends. We need to figure it out ourselves first. But what you're working on at the moment in October, it's your birthday season. This is your solar return, your New Year's Day. You're starting to plan and plot for your next 12 months. You're looking at areas of your life where you're saying, do I still want to be here this time next year at my next birthday? Whether it's here in this job, in this relationship, in this home, in this location, in this attitude, in this health situation, in this pattern, whatever it is for you. Do I want to still be here in the same place next year? Generally, no, because we tend to want to evolve and grow and develop and strengthen. So you're in this time in October as you approach your birthday or just after your birthday, if you were a September Libra, that you are starting to really think about the future. Now, Mars is retrograde at the moment, which is the action planet. So we're a little bit slowed down with what action we want to take, but it doesn't stop us strategizing. In fact, when Mars is retrograde, this is when we can plan and strategize the best. This is our plotting and planning and organizing, not necessarily doing, but we are writing action plans. We are making creative ideas about where we want to go. If you're thinking, no, I don't want to be in this job this time next year, then you are updating your resume. You are strategizing about how you can go to the next level. Maybe you need to move to a different location to get up where you want to go um, or get the, the money, the bucks that you want to get. Um, I can't earn that here, but I could over there. Um, you are starting to think and plan 
Now Mars comes out of retrograde 14th, I think it is, of November. Basically two months is there. So use this time in October to really start planning what you want, what changes you want to make. And then you'll feel an energy starting to drive you forward. I think it's going to be November after Mars comes out of retrograde, where you're going to start moving towards your goals your aspirations, your dreams, moving towards them. And it will happen quite quickly here because we've got the Eight of Wands, which is about communication and fire and passion and movement. Things are moving now. We can start to move forward. The Eight of Wands is the minor arcana equivalent of the chariot, which is about moving forward in balance. And you're all about balance. So this planning and strategizing that you're doing is about moving you to the space of the Queen of Coins. Now, she is financially shrewd, shrewd, all right? She has her head screwed on in terms of money and finance and business, um, career. You know, is this job giving me what I want? Um, will I ever get promoted here? Do I want promotion? Maybe not. Maybe I just want to settle into something and say I'm, I'm good here. Whatever it is for you, the Queen of Coins represents money, stability, financial security, and that in itself the financial security then gives you the foundation where you can build your life nice and strongly on and that is what you are planning and thinking about and strategizing about and it's not all about the material thing of the money the money it's what it what does the money give us all right what's the money bringing in it's a sense of stability security and in many cases freedom yeah i don't have to do that thing anymore because now i've got enough money to say i don't have to do it so let's get some clarity tell me a bit more please find out a little bit more tell me more about that five of swords let's see if we can narrow it down a little bit libra Page of Swords, okay, communication, quick, sweeping changes, opportunities, doors opening. Tell me about that Queen. Page of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. For many of you, this is a new job. You're changing jobs, you're changing your career, you're opening doors. For some of you, they're just telling me you may be realizing assets so in other words selling a home um, buying something cheaper and smaller and having that excess money left over to do something with for others it is about promotion new job um, again changing location for some of you i'm get i've got that twice now some of you are on the move libra all right let's find out more about that eight of wands six of pentacles you're wanting more you're wanting an easier flow of money prosperity abundance not just on the money size because that six of pentacles can talk about um more appreciation more value more enrichment all right and sometimes it's not about doing more it's about doing less and that brings the enrichment to life and we've got the eight of pentacles you're definitely working you're working all right so let's look at these a little bit closer then all right the queen of pentacles queen of coins with that page of pentacles offers doors opening in order to get your money now at the moment the way I'm holding them, she's got her back to him. So at the moment, the pages, the opportunities, the doors opening coming. She's not looking at the moment. Well, that's fair enough. I'm recording this middle of September. You're not there yet. But as we move through October, she will slowly start turning to face him. She'll start looking for these opportunities because you'll have done that strategizing, planning and thinking, yeah, actually, I am ready to look at new opportunities now. Now I can see them. I can see the doors. They might have been there before, but I didn't notice them before. Now I'm seeing them and I want to push that door open. So that's really interesting coming forward for you. Now that five of swords, which is, as I said, those doubts, those fears, the ifs, buts and maybes, the page of swords is all about cutting through that, using that sword to say, look, let's get rid of the doubts. Let's just take a risk here. It's a calculated risk. I'm not stupid. I have thought it through. I've looked at the pros and cons. It feels right. I'm going to go for it. And then that can turn around. So that page can then look at those doubts and use that sword, 
to cut them out which is what we want all right because things do want to take off they really really do and they're taking off towards that six of pentacles which is more than enough it's it's the card he's got his hands open to receive it's you being open to receive a flow coming towards you that is more than meeting your needs as I said, this could be money, this could be um, appreciation of value, but there's more coming towards you, right? But we've got to get rid of those doubts first. So as I said, you are working on, and these cards confirm, you are working on that strategy in a place where you can think clearly. Now, the Palace of um, Swords is a place, a physical place, all right? Now, this could be a workplace. Um, this could be, as I say, on top of a mountain, but it's a place where you can get your head in the game, where you can really, that logic, that mind, that intellect, that intelligence coming through to really start thinking about what you want and then you will work on it. And it is in that order. That's why he's got his back to that at the moment. I've got to think through what I want first, get clear in my mind, then I can work on it to actually make it happen. So let's see what the Lenormand want to add. Those are the Tower of Dreams and the Gilded Tower, by the way. This is the Lenormand deck, all by Marchetti. Let's add a little bit. What else do you want to say for my Librans? We've got the man there. That's very often an offer of love and romance. We've got the letter, which is news. And we've got the clock, which is timing. All right. For those of you single... Libra, your birthday season can be the time where you meet somebody, male or female. This is an offer, an opportunity, okay? And it's linked in with the right time, the right place. It's coming in with the letter, which is news, all right? So those of you interested in romance, this is a good month. Those of you who've got your eye on somebody, that you might want to reach out. That letter doesn't have to be post and snail mail. It can be an email. It can be a Facebook message, whatever it is for you. You're reaching out because now the time feels right. The clock symbolizes timing. So as you're coming through, some for some of you, particularly because we've got that sixth of pentacles there, which is about receiving, you may be receiving news from a person that is interested in you. And it feels the right time to take that forward. There is news coming through here for you. So keep your eyes open for that, Libra. Let's see what else we have from the angels. Who's with Libra for their birthday season, please? And what is the main energy for my Librans? We've got Gabriel with Benediction. This card has come out three, four times today. So there's a very strong energy of Gabriel here, which is the communicator. This is the throat chakra. I am talking. I am sharing. I am communicating. And we can see that with the letter and, you know, two pages here. So there's news. There's a shift. There is a new beginning, which we expect to see around your birthday season because that's closing out the last year and the new year is beginning. So the benediction is a beautiful energy of connecting in with your heart, with your that healing energy in your hand, to heal a situation, to connect with the divine and draw down, being open to receive guidance and all the good stuff, all the good stuff. So Libra, this is beautiful. You are on the path to something more expansive, more aligned with your next year now. And this is just beautiful. So I hope this helps give you the guidance that you're seeking. And if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and a share and all that good stuff. And don't forget, if you haven't, to subscribe and click that little bell. All right, my darlings, join me for the weeklies and uh, your love readings will be posted on the 1st of October. You take care. Bye bye.